Harmony Forum. But first, who am I? Um, I'm Ali, and I'm Hey Look Alive on Twitter and on Drupal.org. I've got five years of experience with Drupal, um, and I'm also freelance. And there's some boring stuff there, but you can ignore that. Um, so, forums in Drupal, they are not the best. So, I've described them as an afterthought solution, core forum module. Um, I think that's a fair thing to say. Otherwise, you've got integrated third-party software, such as integration with vBulletin or PHP BB or whatever else. So, let's talk about core forum. It's that, basically, a content type. Uh, you can have some tax on them if you like, and comments. It's not really a forum. Um, it's a bit restricting, and it's small. Uh, but you can um, add to it with advanced forum, so that can improve <coughs> a bit and give you more styles and give you views and all those sort of things, which do help. And for some people, that's great, and it works great, so um, you know, there's a reason it's in core still. So that's fine. Uh, but the downsides are basically that it's a content type and comments, and you're not going to get away from that, and it's not really geared towards being a proper full-on forum. And you've got other problems like it's um, a bit annoying to theme because it's a node and then you've got comments after it, so that's not really how forums are, are structured. <coughs> and you've got third-party integrations. So here are some good um, bits of forum software out there. And these tend to be the uh, things which people use if they really need to have a forum with Drupal. So if they need to have um, integrated um, like single sign-on and all that kind of stuff. And they want some kind of discussion beyond tiny core forum. So probably the most popular one I think is be bulletin out a lot. Downsides, they're complicated. And basically it's not Drupal. And that's the last one is the most important one to me because you don't want to have to learn how to do something in vBulletin. You don't want to um, spend time integrating it and then have it trip up or there be a security flaw or all that kind of stuff. You want Drupal because that's what you know, that's what you build with, um, and that's what you want to maintain. So stuff like vBulletin, that's a fun one. Um, you get multiple different versions and if you're going to integrate that, then you have to know, okay, well, this module works with this version of vBulletin. And typically, if you're trying to integrate with a third party, sometimes it will be because you've already got a community and you're upgrading a site, like rebuilding it, and so you're a bit stuck. What else? <coughs> so they're just terrible. They're not fun. No one likes to do them. And it requires tracking your software. So you've got to actively watch out for security updates for it, as well as the Drupal stuff. And you've got to um, know it well. And it, you've got sort of janky things like two admin areas, which you don't want to have. You want to be all together. Again, it, it's just not Drupal. And there's more stuff. Um, so vBulletin, does it work with um, Varnish? Is it going to trip anything up? Yeah, it does. It's, again, it's not fun. And I can keep going on about this and on about this because you get stuff like character coding issues across database queries and all sorts. So, Harmony. It is an NC-based forum, threads and posts. And it's a good place to start, basically, because it's built from the ground up and it's purpose-built for being extendable and, um, yeah, the basis for communities um, in Drupal. So what we'll do is we'll step through it, different features, all that kind of stuff. Um, I've been, in a way, lazy um, and just completely use contrib stuff. So views, um, NC reference, all those kind of things. And it's led to a pretty big dependencies list, which I will show you, and it is kind of funny. But the point is that because it's contrib, you know that other people are working on that stuff and they're maintaining it and they're looking after it. So that's, that's what we want. Um, so Harmony Core is only one part of what Harmony is. 
Omniforum. Omniforum is going to be a distribution, and there's probably going to be more distributions after that, which do different things. Um, but the main point is that if you only if the only thing you want is a forum, and you don't want to have extra stuff around it, you can have Harmony Core, and you install that, and it will give you exactly that, and no more. Um, so all these other things that will pop up, like Harmony Access, anti-spam, uh, comments, there's a pretty big list of things that um, are planned. Um, they'll just add to the experience, and this distribution, which would be Harmony Forum, will be like the sum of all its parts. And there are also going to be things like um, themes. So uh, we'll take a look at the first one, Arcadia. Um, and there are other ones planned because basically there is a massive amount that you can do with forums. And Drupal doesn't do any of that. And that's a problem because you want a forum, you're a bit stuck. And that's not really that nice for anyone. Uh, yeah, so distributions, um, different ones to do, achieve different things. So. The idea is that if you want to have some form of community uh, with Drupal, with engagement, people talking to each other, that you could have something like, um, you could choose a different distribution like Harmony Stack, which would be like a Stack Overflow type thing, because you can extend it how you'd expect to um, in a Drupal-y manner. You can throw in things like up and down voting, because you already know how to do that. If you try to wedge that up, be bulletin, be, be, I don't know, putting a lot of effort in something that you don't really want to maintain and it's difficult and you'll learn it. So what I'll show you first is a front end demo. So I've done an amount of work <coughs> and lost my mouse cursor. Yep, there we go. So I've done an amount of work on the front end because it's nice to do that and play about and um, visualize what you want to achieve. So, starting out with the listing, this is what it looks like. So, it's responsive, Bootstrap 3, and just so no misunderstandings, this is what I want to achieve. So, this will be Harmony Forum, and this will be the sum of all the parts. So, Harmony Core will provide stuff like listings, um, and that's taken care of, that's fine. Um, stuff like Harmony Messaging, that will provide this part of it, and so on. So they're all different pieces and they all come together and um, if you don't want one part of it, you don't enable it. So let's have a look at a thread. So this is a thread. It's pretty basic, um, but it's nice and responsive. So I'll prove it. And that's what it looks like. And you still get nice drop downs. Pretty neat. And you've also got things like modals kicking about. So my goal for this was to make something that would be a really cool product and it would stand apart from Drupal. And check out that nice square, that's wrong. Um, it would compete with the you know, on the same kind of level. That's the kind of thing that I want to achieve in terms of features usability, forget it's Drupal basically, because it shouldn't matter. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so let's close that. So there are uh, a few cool things in here, um, like show direct replies, and there is an amount of similar, uh, similarity between this and discourse. Um, and I think it's good to speak about that just so it's understood, because it could be seen as, oh, you're just copying a few parts from discourse. Um, Fine, there is some stuff which will look like that, but I see discourse as a really forward thinking um, way of tackling communities. And if you want discourse, use discourse. But the thing is, this is Drupal. And I wanted to achieve the best possible thing for a forum, for a community in Drupal. And you know, also, discourse is kind of borrowed from other parts as well, stuff like Twitter and other places. So there's no true original thing. Um, Okay, so this is the front end. Um, let's jump back to our slides. I think I just say core demo. So let's do a core demo. Uh, where are we? Okay, so Harmony Core um, provides you with a few things out of the box. And it might not be stuff that you want necessarily. So 
I've decided that you want a uh, listing of forum threads um, at slash forum. And I remember using core forum, and that's something you can't change easily, where it's located. So you couldn't change it to be slash community without really messing about. Because it's a view, you can change uh, the path on that view. You can disable it, you can do whatever you like. You can change the sorts, fields, all that kind of stuff. So this is the point in leveraging Contrib because Contrib does a lot of things well already. So I, I don't want to make decisions for whatever you want, but I will give you sensible defaults. So um, you see we've got some threads created here. So let's have a look at test. So in here we've got some posts and I'll step through the different bits of functionality. So I've got the inline reply thing. This is core Ajax and I'm pretty pleased with that actually. Uh, but to explain what this page is, I don't know, in the greater sense, this is a view. So again, because it's a view, you can edit it, you can change it. You could have multiple tabs on this if you really felt like it. You could provide um, perhaps just like a normal uh, chronological list of posts, or you could provide a best of because it's views and because you can add in a filter saying, I want to give, uh, see all the posts which are liked 10 times or over. So there's a massive amount of flexibility here and what Core is providing is a base and you can develop out from that and you can achieve what you need to. So that's a view. This is also a view. It's a separate view. You've also got um, a different view mode for posts. So this is a rendered post um, in default view mode, I believe. Then you've got inline reply view mode. So you can have your inline replies be really tiny if you want it to be. Um, the post itself, this is a rendered user. And you've got um, harmony post pane view mode. So if you want to go and throw in some extra fields in there, then you can do that. Uh, and again, this is it's really great because it's Drupal and you don't have to mess around with it. You really know it. And there's not that same barrier. So it's flexible and it is Drupal. Um, so beyond that, uh, oh, actually, because it's core, cool, um, because we're using core Ajax and core methods, uh, to load in this content, uh, you get nice things like, so this is loaded by Ajax um, externally, um, and because we uh, leverage behaviors, if I do, okay, so that post and this post are the same. So if I like that, it likes it down there as well. It's pretty cool. Um, so because we're not setting out too far, because we're not trying to do too much stuff ourselves, we gain the advantage of core and contrib and all that. Um, that said, there are some places where I have built things for Harmony, such as at JS module, um, which I'll show you in a moment, but also NC quote, which lets you have nicer quotes such as this. So um, if we have a look at what this is. So we can do a quote like this. That's all that it is. So you put in your text, you say this is post number, Post ID one two three, um, and you get back this. So user said in this entity linked uh, this content. Um, currently working on a way to select highlight text, so you can do that. A little quote bubble will appear. You can click that and go to a form and um, have it pre-populated there. So that's really cool. Uh, you've also got the sense of um, when you click on reply, the concept that you're making a direct reply to a post. So you can reference back to that. And that's how I've got two replies here. So you click that link and you get a view of all the replies which are directly associated with it because it's views, because it's entity reference, because they all just plug together and they work. So there's a lot of stuff which is hidden um, away and you don't really see it. So I've just clicked reply. Well, you can see in the URL that it's um, a reply for this thread, um, directly replying to this post, and it's all hidden. So you don't have to worry about 
seeing all these extra fields all over the place. And it's nice, it works, and this is out of the box. So there's not a lot of work to do um, if you don't really feel like doing it. But if you want to customize it, then you can, and that's the point. So let's have a look at at JS. <coughs> so that's pretty cool. So what that is, is an inline autocomplete, um, which is like on Twitter, like on GitHub. And it doesn't matter where you are in your text area, hopefully, it'll work. So what that'll do, hoping it doesn't blow up, is changes that into a link to the user. But behind the scenes what's happening is it's recognizing that you're referencing uh, a user and it's saying, okay, do we recognize this reference? Is it new, is it unchanged, or is it removed? So in that way we can, um, and we do provide hooks which let you respond to that. So in Harmony messaging or notifications or whatever it ends up being called, you can send someone a notification saying, this user just mentioned you in their post and link back to it. So that's really cool. And because you have the sense of um, this is a new reference, this is not an existing reference, if someone edits that post, then they don't get spammed. So, pretty cool. Um, you've also got a series of adminish type things as you expect to. So you can go, you can administer posts in a thread, you can perform operations on them, so you can delete, lock, publish, and so on. And also move to a different thread if you choose to. Um, and you can also filter down on them. So there are lots of things you can do. Um, and there's also admin side. Again, all views. So you can edit it, you can change it as much as you want to. Uh, you can get rid of fields which don't make sense to you in that listing. Um, you've got an overview, uh, admin error, and you can, again, perform those sort of default actions. Uh, didn't fancy writing this stuff out, so still views, views bulk operations, core actions. Um, yeah. So, pretty cool. We're going to jump back to the main listing. Uh, we've defined our own custom, uh, can't quite click the edge of the window, our own custom uh, views style, which is Harmony Responsive Table. So when you do this, it works. So if you choose to implement a um, responsive layout, then you know, you're not going to get any problems from this. Uh, right. Yep. So I'm just going to jump back to slides. So what's to do? Yep, there is. There's a massive amount to do still because this could be as huge as, you know, anything because I'm in fact building a product and there are many many features to go with it. Probably the next thing that will come is uh, Harmony Access so that you can have restricted access to uh, forums, um, posts, whatever and uh, sadly because there isn't a generalized API that you know, really works for entity access um, that's something that we'll be implementing but it gives you that flexibility that you can have an OG style forum uh, that kind of membership, that kind of level of access, granularity, whatever you need. Um, I'll step through a bit of code after the end. Um, but if you're interested in getting involved, then come visit the group. So there's forum development group on drip.org and uh, post up your ideas, say what you like, and we'll listen. Um, I want to hear from you. If you're interested in forums or you want to build forums or um, interested in pushing forward this kind of stuff in Drupal, uh, you provide different roles in communities, you have an opinion, um, come talk to me, send me an email. Um, there is a mailing list on the website, so if you go to getharmony.io, you can sign up to it there. Um, there's some more words. I'll show you a bit of code because we've got quite a bit of time, I think. But again, you can get me on Twitter. Um, I also do freelance work as well. Well, I'm not doing this, so. Right. <clears throat> One of the things about this is that it looks deceptively small, and it is not. And it took a lot of time. Um, right, so this is Harmony Core. So there's quite a bit of stuff in here. It's also a feature, so this is why it's got so many files, and it makes me cry a bit that it was so nicely organized, and now it's bad. Never mind. 
there are a lot of handlers, custom views things, because when you come to use views, you don't want to suffer under NCAPI's kind of lack of providing these nice default things. So stuff like linking to an NC, NCAPI doesn't do that for you. You have to write that yourself. So there's been a lot of learning, um, but the point is that there's all this stuff here for you. You don't have to do this, and you shouldn't have to do it. Um, so you've got lots of different uh, options for what you can do in your views. Um, <coughs> Let's have a look at the .info file, because that's always fun. Whee! Look at that. It's really quite cool when you just DL it and then you yen it without any of this stuff, because then it just goes a bit nuts and takes a while and downloads all the dependencies, enables it, and does it all for you, and you end up with a forum. Uh, yeah, quite a bit of stuff. And quite a bit of code as well. Um, the reason why I'm going through the code is because after looking at this for quite a while and developing some of it, it you forget parts because it's so huge. So some of the things by looking at this I'm remembering is that um, it provides you with stuff like an input format so that you don't have to do it yourself and it's secure out of the box. And it does nice things for you like formats things properly as you'd expect them to. Um, you get tokens as you'd want them. You get um, so look here, path auto is probably the most important one for me because, again, NCAPI doesn't do that kind of stuff for you, which is a bit sad, but you, know, you can understand because it's complicated stuff. So I think it's probably one. Uh, yeah, so for example, we've got thread slash thread ID slash title. A um, bit more annoying to do than you might think, but um, you know, worth doing because it lets you do this stuff without having to mess around and it is as simple as normal path auto. And it's kind of stuff that matters and you don't want to have to do. Um, yeah. So I think I managed to blast through my talk really quickly. And questions? Yep. So um, that's, that was great. I mean, if it is based around a lot of the um, core and conscious. Mm. A few people have said Monty Gimbal today, and I really didn't expect it. Because uh, that was one of the things that I started out looking at. What do I want to implement from like the uh, hook NC info side of things? And I didn't really see Monty Gimbal as one of those things, because I didn't expect that people would want to translate their posts. Because I didn't see the content being in that kind of manner. But that said, I will accept patches, and it can be done. And if it's something that people really want, then it's something that we will do. So possible. Yep. Okay. I'm talking about threads here. Mm. So you've got a, a, a root message, and then you've got a reply, and then you have a reply on that reply, and a reply on that reply. Do you re reduce a, a nested structure or a tree structure? Can you do that? Yeah. Um, I just want to go over something that you said. It's you create a thread. So to explain what you're making, you're creating a thread which has a title and then it doesn't have a lot of other things to it. So let's go look at thread entity. So we've got a category field. Um, we've got uh, a link to the first post so we can find like the um, you know, representative post of that thread if you need to. Um, we've also got a post count, uh, last user to reply if the thread is a continuation from another thread. And also, um, post listing is a view, so that's not really doing anything except for providing that listing when you're uh, viewing a thread. Um, so that's it. When you have, when you look at a page um, which is a thread, you've got your title, and then you've got a view which is just grabbing all the posts which reference that thread as I belong to this thread. So part of the problem with um, core forum is that it's a node and then you've got comments onto it and you've got this broken apart sense of data because you've got text on a node and you've also got text on comments whereas all this is glued together um, because and that's a pretty traditional scalable way of building a forum because the minimum amount of information that you want to list a thread should be on that thread entity which is why we've got these things like the last user to reply the, uh, the representative um, 
post the post count. So you can do a really simple query to get that data and do it efficiently. Um, Or a reply to a reply. Yep. And you want to be able to see the tree structure and see the responses on each bit of the tree. Yeah. Can you do that diagrammatically? Yep, you can. You can do that. So you, if you really want to show nested replies and so on, then you can do that. This is the post entity. You've got some text, you've got a thread, and you've got is a reply to. And by having that, that's how we provide this view of things. So I have, because we've got um, a different view mode for uh, inline replies, I've removed that link which says one reply. So it, it did have that, but then you get into this crazy recursive kind of stuff, which um, you can do if you want to, but I wasn't happy with how it was. So I've, I'm only showing one level of reply, but it's absolutely possible. So you could do two and that would then be as many as you like. Speed, yep. Okay. Yep, forever and ever. Um, well, no, they don't, and um, it, it can be a complicated thing to do. So there is a reason why that happens, but people do want to see replies to things. I've only done one level, but you know, it's possible to go through as many as you like. Well, I come from uh, Kips, CIS, from further UK, which is the longest established conferencing threaded system in the UK. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So another alternative for this, and I can start to go on because it is Drupal. It is flexible. Uh, like I said, you'd have a best of view, which would be another tab. You could have um, show inline replies view, and have that. So there are tons of options. You can have what you want. Um, yeah, it's just about how um, yeah, when, when a forum gets bigger and bigger and bigger and mm. grows, you need to change the adapter structure and what traditional forums do is introduce containers and stuff like that, sort of group discussions and stuff like that. It's not about how you implement that, whether it's taxonomy or whether it's a Taxonomy. That's it. Like four forum containers. Yeah, well, um, if you go through the history of what um, forum options there were or what people are thinking of doing, there's a maintainer of advanced forum, uh, Michelle. Um, he wanted to create something called, um, I think it was Artesian uh, Forum, and that was the uh, NC Forum. And in that, uh, she had threads, posts, but also containers, so your forums. And I looked at that and I thought, well, Taxonomy does a good job with this, actually. This is what Taxonomy is for. So I've taken the view. Uh, that taxonomy is the right tool for that job and it will provide you with what you need and I don't see the sense in creating another entity to serve that purpose when we've already got something that does it perfectly well now. Um, scalability will be one of those things to tackle at some point but you tackle that when it becomes a problem and building this is taking quite a bit. So. <laughs> Um, no, not really. Um, yeah, I got caught up in it, I suppose, and it just kept going. Um, I think it's solely me. Um, to explain where the problem came from, it was from a vulnerability integration, and looking around, it's like there really isn't anything. That's really surprising because it's a gap in Drupal, and I don't see why it should be like that. And it's something that you can solve uh, for the community and. You know, it is fun, and it's good to be challenged and try and solve problems in a certain way. Like the the at JS stuff, that's like a you know side path, but it's still fun to do, and it's um, cool to work out those problems. And that's a module which you can use, and on whatever you like, you can create multiple listeners. So I can type hash and reference tags. I can do whatever I like there. And not only that, I'll show you the page project page, go download it, play with it, test it, break it, patch it. Um, so it started probably about 
a year ago, I suppose. And I did a proof of concept in ECK and quickly realized that ECK wasn't really going to cut it in its current state. Um, I know it has improved lately. Um, and once I had that prototype, started kind of chipping away at it, but properly started work on it. I think it was um, September. If you go back to, yeah, so September 1st, that's when I first put the project up. Um, it was before that, but that's when commits properly started happening. But there's conceptual work that happened, and um, you can see the, the front end stuff, which is also off of, I think it's on front end get harmony. Uh, I think I'll enable Wi Fi. Um, so that was like the Christmas break to get a break from core development. Um, did that. And there's value in doing that because it's its own challenge. It's not going to load. Either way, that's the URL. Um, and then. Um, I went freelance at the start of the year and that's given me more time to work on it properly in case it's at the state that it's in now. There is a dev release. Um, it probably won't break too much. I did manage to break it today, which made me cry a bit and panic. Um, like facial errors and whatnot. Uh, um, but it's stable, I'd say. I want to see a really random bug, in which case I'd love to know why that's happening. Um, but there's a dev release. Schema changes aren't likely to happen now because most of that stuff's locked down. Um, so it's in a decent state to start, uh, for people to start testing it, finding issues with it. It's not something I necessarily recommend you put on production site, but I'll never listen to that anyway. So. Uh, no. There are tons of people who are interested in, in using this kind of thing because it is um, it fills a gap because it means you don't have to integrate with things because it's <coughs> Drupal and that's the most important point because you can extend it, you know Drupal and you know it's built fairly sensibly and you can do what you need to with it. Um, there are tons of different distributions out there um, and they all work in a similar format um, but forums aren't really a word in, in that discussion um, which you know, is silly because everything else is so why not forums? Um, I don't know why no one's done this before, aside from the fact that it is a massive amount of work, but um, it's happening now. Yep. Um, I appreciate it's kind of early stages in terms of development. You broke it. It was just what's you or um, the links through to your features uh, list that you've got. I was mm -hmm. wondering what, whether or not you've got kind of a plan around uh, development uh, cycle and kind of where you need to be your seven days with this with respect to those features. Can't say I do really. No, um, there is such a massive amount of other modules to do. Um, it's prioritizing. There are groups posts about like poll. What do you want next? Um, I can't necessarily commit to a timeline because I am a freelancer. I do take paid work, and sadly, that does have to be um, my priority because I, I want to eat food. Um, but if someone wants to pay me to work on this, I'll happily do it. Or if, most importantly, if someone wants a forum or a community with Harmony Core or Drupal, um, pay me to help you with it, and the work goes back into Harmony Core, which is the whole point in Drupal, because you can um, benefit from the open sourceness and give back to it. So that would be a positive way to employ me, please. Um, <laughs> and make this happen, most importantly. Um, Did, uh, I don't know if or any whether or not has any kind of support for rules or, um, or simple tests. Mm. Um, Planned. Many, many things are planned. Um, but getting into this point, and like download it, have a look at your code, and like there is a lot of it. And it's all the points where basically I've I've remade Node in places. I've looked at Node, used that as my reference point, and then had a look at what does NC API do for me. And it does quite a bit. Um, but if you have a look at the access control stuff, like having to build that out all the permissions and things, it's a massive, massive undertaking. And um, yeah, it's taken quite a bit of time, but everything gets a bit quicker, I'd hope, from the outset. But stuff like access, I'm going to re uh, rewrite node access because there isn't an NC API access, not one that's you know, usable, you know, production usable. So 
yeah, a lot to do. Have you started looking at moderation tools and anti spam and stuff like that yet? Is that um, that I've got notes on it, and I've got a, no uh, a load of notes on everything okay. because, like, throughout the whole time, this has been um, pretty much just like a brain dump of code and having the time to do it because there's been this massive thing living in my head, which is this, and this is like a fair chunk of it. Um, Anti-spam, that can be something like a combination of honeypot, it could be mom if you prefer it. Um, it could be flood control, which is in core, integrating with that. Um, there are lots and lots of things that you can do for that. Um, so, so like anti-spam would be a smaller module. That would not be massive, but it's having the time to do that stuff and um, build it, basically. But there are ideas for all of this. Any other questions? Nope, good, done. <laughs> also, uh, are you not afraid of updating all those dependent modules? Sorry? Are you not afraid of updating all those, those dependent modules around the agent form? Uh, you mean relying on them? Yeah. Um, you what kind of have to, because I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to write all that stuff. Uh, that's the point of the community. I don't want to reinvent things. I don't want to make flag. I don't want to make uh, inline entity form. I'll let other people do that and take care of that. That's their part. But I'll do Harmony for them, and I'll look after that part. If there are bugs with it, I'll be putting bugs over them. So, but yeah, that, that's the point in this community and how it works. So, you kind of have to go with it. Otherwise, you are just on your own making your own thing. Finished. Done. Thank you. <laughs>